Good morning, Grand Kai. My name is Victor Jimenez. And my name is Jacob Roska. Today is Friday, May 3rd. And you're watching Pacers, Pacers on Demand. Demand. Hey Pacers, my name is Angel and today we're going to go visit Open House. Let's go. So hi, who are you? I'm uh, Mr. Wadman. So what's on display today? Uh, this is the, the art department, so visual and performing arts were the visual part. So we have three-dimensional work here. This is some of the ceramics. We just started a ceramics class this year. So the kids are learning to work a little in 2D and then turn it into three three-dimensional works. And then on the boards, we have the two-dimensional classes that are offered to the students, too. So how do these students work to achieve this type of art? Well, the arts have the same uh, standards, uh, the core standards that all the other domains have. The difference is that our standards are disciplines, so they get, the, they get the content area, and then they have to learn how to apply what they've learned. So like you read something out of a book and you answer questions about it. In this case, the students learn something out of a book, and then they get a material, say it's clay, or say it's graphite or, or, or watercolor, and they have to take what they've learned and they have to apply it. So this is where they have to use their imagination, which is the right side of the brain, because everybody else wants to use the, the left side of the brain. So here's where they have to go into their fantasy land, and they have to say, what can I do that will make it mine? And so everything here is relative to what the student wanted to do, but it is based on the cores and the standards. So is there anything else you like to add? No, I think that's it. You're a couple of wonderful girls, and thank you for being a pacer for like like the rest of us. <laughs> thank you for your time. Uh -huh. Hi, who are you and what do you do? I'm Vice Principal Davey, and that's what I do, Vice Principal. <laughs> so why is it important uh, for the teachers to go attend Open House? Uh, the importance is Open House is for parents to come and see what great things we have to offer. So the teachers have to come out because they're talking about what the great things are in their classrooms. Is this why Open House is so important? Open House is important to show the world how great we are. So that's why I call it Open House Recruitment Fair because we want to recruit 8th graders and below that, that really we want them to see how great the great things we have, the great academies, departments, teachers, and students. And we want them to come. So we're trying to recruit them by putting on a show, showing our celebration of great things. Mm. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Be a pacer. All right, thank you for your time. Thank you. So, hi, who are you? My name is Mr. Wong. I'm a math teacher at Grant High School. So, what are you guys doing at the math department here? Well, we have a few things going on. We have uh, Yahtzee. We also have a chess challenge going on, if you can beat Mr. Sellis. We have this nice Harry Potter chess set that you would win. First person to beat Mr. Sellis. Unfortunately, Mr. Sellis has never lost, so odds are against you. But you're more than welcome to play against him. So I've noticed that there's projects around. Well, so what are they? Well, I believe uh, mathematics is more than just numbers. And uh, many years ago, I came up with this idea of having students show their artistic uh, talent in mathematics by doing different things with uh, a compass and a ruler. And uh, we do a competition usually once every three weeks to determine the best. And, of course, what you see here is the best of my class, all, all five classes. So is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, I hope everyone's having a great time here. I'm having a great time, and I wish more people would come by, check out all the fun things. We got a lot of cookies for people, games, prizes. Just come on out. A lot of fun. All right. Thank you for your time. Thank you. All right. So, Pacers, we checked out Open House. And remember, stay hydrated. The summer program formerly known as Nightlife Turned Right is being revamped and renamed. Summer Nights Remix My Excellence of Fun. With that comes a need for a new logo. On behalf of the Healing Five Foundation, Brother to Brother Mentor Group, and other District 2 organizations, we are asking students to submit logo designs via contest. Winners from each school will be submitted to a panel for selection. The winning design will be featured on t-shirts, flyers, and other marketing materials. Thank you, and have a great day. Hey Pacers, your books are on sale with Ms. Siobhan in the attendance office for $65. We are keeping prices low this year, so buy your yearbook before they're all gone. Books will be arriving May 26th. There's a limited quantity, so act now. Cesar Puente Club is hosting their annual Cinco de Mayo Posada today, the 3rd of May, on a Friday afternoon. Doors open at 7 p.m. till 10 p.m. Tickets are on sale with Miss Siobhan for $7 and $10 at the door. Food will be on sale, so don't forget your money. Don't miss this celebration. Hope to see you all there.
Grant's Arts Academy Spring Production of 2019. Come enjoy a two-part production. First half, a presentation of popular musical scenes from Grease, Dreamgirls, and High School Musical. Second half is dedicated paying homage to hip-hop from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. When? Thursday, May 9th, 2019. Grant High School Auditorium. 6 p.m. Donations are $1 and all proceeds go to the Grant High School Arts Academy. Attention students and staff. Grand Union High School is participating in the Bandage program with Ms. Liz and her tolerant students at Woodlink Elementary School. Since 2008, Ms. Liz and her students have been collecting bandages to honor the 1.5 million kids killed in the Holocaust. Their project ends in June this year, and Grant would like to help them reach their goal. Please bring a box of new bandages to room W14, go to Dollar Tree or 99 cent store where they are only $1, or consider donating a dollar, and we will go buy the bandages. All bandages collected between now and May 26th, Please visit the following website for more information. Theater Production presents a stage play titled Cesar Chavez Legacy, Cesar si Puede Grant High School Edition. Today, Friday, May 3rd, 2019, from 6 p.m., right before the Cesar si Puede dance. The play will be performed in the Little Theater on the A Hall of Main Campus. Cost is $1 at the door. All proceeds will go to the Arts Academy. For more information, please see Coach Tam in the A My name is Victor Jimenez. My name is Jake Perosco. Have, Have an amazing, amazing day, day, Pacers.